You might have seen this already. I know I did recently on a hike down on the Canadice Lake Trail. Gypsy moths. Now, they've always been around our area, so we're told, but every 10 to 15 years, there's a major spike in the population. They can feed on trees, just eating up your foliage. For one Canandaigua family, though, it's not just trees under attack, but their quality of life. Eric Ketakos has a story for us. Our region is facing a gypsy moth outbreak, only they're not moths yet, they're just fuzzy caterpillars. This Canandaigua family says what you're looking at now is actually the back end of a few weeks ago. Horrible. Horrible. We've created this place where we live and now we can't enjoy it. Their worst nightmare. It started back in April, probably about the middle of April when it started warming up. They were really tiny. The Caterpillars. I didn't anticipate having millions of them. Their daughters just wrapping up a school year, but unable to use the pool or hang out on the deck. Maya Brinkman says even sitting in a chair causes her to break out in hives. I'm allergic to it, so it's like hard to sit out. I think it's their hairs. It gets like on the pillows, and that's what I'm allergic to. Rob Cole with the Department of Environmental Conservation says hairs can cause skin irritation. These huge outbreaks happen every 10 to 15 years, lasting two to three years. He says at this point in the game, it's too late to rid them entirely. The treatment window is, is rapidly closing, if not closed already. For this year. But you can manage one option, wrapping a sticky band around your tree trunk like you see here so the caterpillars are contained. Another method this family has been using. You're as crazy as I am, go out and suck them up with a vacuum cleaner. And be proactive for next summer. According to DEC, another option is aerial spraying of insecticide, but you need to set it up as early as January. And in a few weeks, we can expect all of these to turn into moths. Reporting, Erica Cost, News 8.